Okay. I think I finally got this to work because uh okay i'm like it's a 20 second lapse whatever um yeah this is about my third or fourth time trying to go live today because my other attempts were not successful so there's something wrong with the uh the microphone that comes with this computer so I had to use my microphone, my little phallic symbol microphone that I got <laughs> from uh, for making my videos when I got to do like a voiceover or whatever. So, yeah. Where is y'all? Is anybody on here? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? All right. I'm not beat, I'm not stressed, I'm just gonna wait for somebody to come on. Can anybody see me? Wait a minute, I think my um my video looks like it's stuck, first of all, let me see. Well, it's not stuck when I look at the encoder, but it looks like it's stuck over on YouTube. Um, Are you guys able to see me moving or is it just like one stuck picture can y'all hear me is this happening right now whatever i'm going to tell y'all i'm so happy that this has some sound right now and it's finally working because i i literally tried this and went to sleep laying here trying to figure it out and i just woke back up so, sitting here, drinking my tea. Y'all see my cup from my store? Isn't it cute? It's a fit chick. You see that fro? You see that fro? <laughs> um... Can somebody talk to me? Can somebody type me some some info? Who's out there? I guess it's too late at night to be playing this game, huh? On the East Coast, it's almost 9? My bad. But for real, okay, I can't see, it's telling me five people are watching, talk to me y'all, do y'all see where, well I don't know where you would do it if you were a watcher, but I know for me, I can just kind of write over in this corner okay now it's seven people watching but still no words no comments anyway i made this video for zero reasons i don't have any very specific thing to talk about i just wanted to first off figure out how to use it so that i could set up an event at some time uh, and we could talk about something that is pretty much, you know, set up. So we already know that that's what we're going to be talking about uh, prior to it. Um, maybe on a weekend, if that was something that people were interested in. I'm just going to say I'm looking right at the, um, the comment section and I see nothing. So people did... Uh, respond to me earlier today but uh, it says there are seven people but I am getting zero info where is y'all at where is Harper Pola where is Butterfly where is Kenya Die? where is anybody one message one message let me see where is it no okay well, I guess it's just I guess the message is me Oh, hey, 
the mist fill. <laughs> Hippie chick 514. Hey, y'all. I'm so excited to be doing this. It really, it don't even make no sense. You would think that I just got a, a new car and I was driving it around. I'm really that excited and happy. Um, is my picture, is it moving or is it just one picture? Because that's all I see on my YouTube live stream. It just looks, it's just my face like this. <laughs> and it's stuck and it got like a little circle going around it. And I'm like, okay, that is not cute. Uh, are y'all able to hear me? Because, uh, if you were not on earlier today, I, this is, uh, multiple times that I've tried to do this and, uh, the, the mic for this camera, this, uh, MacBook or whatever, it makes a, a noise like a siren. It's so loud. And I didn't know what it was. So I plugged in this microphone that I have. And yeah, it accepted it and it's letting me do it. So although this is very awkward to have in a video, you know what I mean? Um, it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that I, I found an alternative or something that works. All right. Yes. Oh, y'all know I cannot type. P H Y L. <laughs> Is the video moving to, or is it stuck? Why do I have to uh, talk while I'm trying to type stuff out? I don't know. Okay. So, I really didn't do anything today. I went, um, okay, yay, Emoja30. <laughs> um, I made a video earlier today, uh, but I didn't want to upload it so early in the week. Like, this is not really the best day for uploading videos. And since I don't have, like, a never-ending stream of content, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to upload my video on a better day um hi D hey D this is live <laughs> um let me see uh yeah so I'm gonna post my video uh, later on in the week but I'm like well I could probably get on and just talk to some people now and that just started this whole day long saga. It's ridiculous. It just went crazy. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why can't I make this work? So I've been sitting here messing with this all day. I'm freezing now. The air conditioner, I haven't gotten up to turn it off. I went to sleep for no reason like an old lady. I'm sitting here drinking ginger tea. What? And it's spectacular. It comes in this, uh, in a jar, a big glass jar. And when my husband gave it to me, I'm like, what is this, marmalade? It's yellow, it's gelatiny, and it got little strips of something yellowish, whitish in it. Um, he was like, no, it's not marmalade, it's ginger tea. Clearly it's not tea, it's some sort of jelly or something. But, uh, you take spoons of it and you put it in hot water. It says you could do it in cold too, but, um... I don't want to spill this on the computer. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. You can see the little pieces of ginger from the bottom of the cup. So it's all inside of the jelly stuff. Uh, and the jelly stuff melts in the hot water. And it's already really, really sweet. So you just put it in the hot water and it makes ginger tea. And I think that that is so freaking awesome.
So I guess this would be as good time as any to ask uh, some questions, okay? Because I never do those Q&A videos. Maybe I'll actually schedule one so that everybody could think of questions. But what kinds of things... What kinds of things could I be talking about? I mean, it can't really all be about hair. First of all, uh, I'm not natural 85, and my hair don't come down to my butt. So I know y'all are like, Ugh, another bald-headed hairstyle from Aisa. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I got enough hair to do some stuff, but... <laughs> I have so many like uh, additional interests and things like that um, and I don't know what kinds of things you guys would really be interested in so do you guys think that I should uh, schedule a video a Q&A type thing uh, ahead of time so that people already know it's coming so that they can have questions already done Yes, ginger is so great for uh, colds and cough. And I was thinking that I was getting a cold, even though I've been drinking this every day, because it's so good. I just got like a thing for ginger. Did you cut your hair or a big chop again? No, I'm just bald headed. My hair don't grow. It don't grow. No, it grows. Um, I did. I did cut it again. Actually, that's what the video is about. Um. I, I do my, my trims, but uh, essentially what happens is I keep having setbacks, and it seems like it happens whenever I get a trim, uh, something bad will happen, and I have to trim again. My hair is very slow growing, so it just seems like it can't win for losing. Uh, and it's probably because when I first got on YouTube, when I had my first channel, uh and my second channel my first and my second channel my hair was longer that's why you'll see in the video that's the most popular on my channel that my hair was way longer then and I think that was two or three years ago then I can get it to grow now uh, so I'm like well what was I doing at the beginning that was making it grow I think uh, I was embarrassed of you know it being natural or whatever and I kept my hair I, I did a lot of braids and like uh, twists and things like that uh, not these kind of twists but the kinky twists the long ones and I think that that probably has something to do with my hair being longer then uh, I really do want to do a style but it just seems so time consuming and it's probably gonna be so hot I might though I got the hair I bought hair it's, it's probably been in there well over a year waiting for me to do some uh some locks or whatever plus i got all those wigs i just be playing games so if i stop playing with my hair so much and and, and do less to it then it will probably grow but no i did not big chop again since the last time that i gave myself a really intense cut uh and it is growing but you know not fast enough for me and clearly you can see it too you know what i mean you like to discuss hair okay so I could um oh do you mean in the future video uh, the miss Phil oh when I tell you my knee is killing me let me say pop-up chat all right that's what I'm talking about Ugh. I know y'all didn't want to see all of that. But that's how it be sometimes. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm looking at this because I can't even, I can't see myself moving at all. But I can't m leave from this page to go and watch myself. Why do I need to see myself? It just seems like I'm not really doing anything if I don't. <laughs> You have fine hair, and you still do not wear it out. Oh, well, that is that is awesome because, yeah, us fine hair girls, we don't get very popular on YouTube. Uh, and and ain't no, people don't like to give us too much love. So 
Oh wait, being live with someone. Oh yay! It's my first time being live ever. Well, I was live earlier today, but it did not work out. So, hey, Miss Lady Trey. Um, yeah, I do have uh the video that's coming up does have some things related to having fine hair. Um, I think the video that will really take me over the top is going to be how to make fine hair not look like it's fine, you know? How to make a twist that's this skinny be like a giant fluffy twist. People will be all over me. I'll be rich. I'll be rich. <laughs> all right. Um, D Tisdale, you're allergic to coconuts. Can't even touch it. Is there another oil that you would suggest? Um... Well, I use a lot of, I have so much coconut oil, it's ridiculous, but uh, I like olive oil, and I've also read that olive oil is supposed to uh, help block, is it THC, uh, or what? whatever it is that makes people go bald, uh, you know, genetically bald, like men, um, it's supposed to block that, so logically, with my thinning edges, I should be probably rubbing up some uh, olive oil or castor oil just because I don't know the reason why, but everybody says that it works. So uh, those are two good oils just right there, right off the bat. If, but what are you looking for oils for, actually? And once again, look at my cup. Look at my cup. Ain't it cute? It says fit chick and I designed it myself over on my uh, Fit Natural store I got so many so many little Fit Natural stores I had to uh, try to condense it because I'm selling crap all over even though nobody don't ever buy it okay so for growth uh, yeah I think those oils will be the ones to, to uh, look into like I said olive oil uh, because of its ability to block some of the stuff that makes your hair not grow um, and castor oil just because people always 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 say that it makes your hair grow um, I believe that they are moisturizing too olive oil can penetrate the shaft of the hair uh, and and give moisturization um, yeah Castor oil is great for sealing in moisture for a long period of time. It does just, uh, for me specifically, it makes my hair uh, sort of like glycerin. It makes it take in so much moisture from the air, which is good if that's what you want. But me having high porosity hair, if I put my hair in a hairstyle, I do not need it just going around soaking up moisture everywhere we go like some sort of moisture whore um so sometimes it don't work out but for something like this like my hair is like all in twists right now like I could spray glycerin and castor oil a mixture or something on it and I wouldn't even care uh cause it'll be nice and moist and juicy oh my god is my stream health okay Mm. All right, so five people are watching now, and I've been on here for 19 minutes. Well, I was alone for the first few minutes. I was like, um, where every, where y'all at? My bad. I don't know how that happened, but thank you for telling me. Okay. Uh, damn, I don't even know when it when it messed up. Okay, but I was talking to D Tisdale. She was saying that castor oil is really heavy, and she has fine hair also, and she washes every two weeks. 
that might still work out depending on if you care if your hair has like a heavy feel to it or whatever um or you could try jojoba oil that's what I was trying to say um wait no I didn't end it are y'all here No, the live stream says it's still going. Okay, um, jojoba oil is supposed to be very much like the sebum on your scalp. So, you should be able to, to use that, just like everybody should be able to, to use it. Okay, so the volume is back, right? Okay, uh, let me see. Jamaican black castor oil, Miss Lady Trey. Yeah, I actually, I do have some of that. I am so... I don't know why you can't hear me. All right. I can't hear me. Okay, now I hear me. Okay, I see D. Tisdale. Girl, you was freaking me out. I was like, wait, why can't you hear me? What is I'm doing wrong? All right. Um. <laughs> hey. Okay. Um. What were we talking about? Jamaican black castor oil. Yeah, that is a good oil as well, just like regular castor oil. Um, supposed to be good for the same stuff, thickening up hair. Uh potentially growing hair where you're going bald or something like that so uh it should work out it should be a, a good thing to try out mm -mm. Oh, okay yeah emoja 30 was like if you want a frizz free day you might not want to do too much cast oil exactly that's what i was saying that is it reduced too much. Too much. And I am the queen of, first off, my hair turning into a bush everywhere I go. Any hairstyles that I show you guys, it is only a hairstyle for the time that I'm showing y'all. My husband go hop in the shower, that style is done. I go outside, that style is done. You will never see my hair done when you see me on the street. You'll be like, wow, her hair look messed up. <laughs> it does not like to hold its shape. It, it likes to take in moisture because of the porosity. It's just open. It's just a moisture whore. It can't get enough. Let me see more comments below. Yeah, Iron Deficiency can uh, call... It was just on you go. Okay. Um, yes, iron deficiency can cause thinning. And I do still have iron deficiency. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to show y'all. Wait one second. Let me run to the kitchen to show y'all what I've been taking. All right, that was fast. Okay. Now, first of all, my aunt used to give me this when I was a kid, but they only sell it in the Spanish section of the store, which is why we couldn't find it. This stuff is magic, all right? Um, it's called SSS Tonic. It's a high-potency iron and B vitamin supplement. So this would be good, like, for if you're iron deficient and you, like, you know, you're lacking so much energy because you know the B vitamins are for energy and low iron when I went to the doctor and he told me uh, probably one of the first times I found out that I was iron deficient he was like um are you even alive he was like I don't even see and you telling me that you exercise a lot like I don't see how you could even be alive with a small amount of iron that you have going through your body right now so he wanted to give me a infusion or I don't know he wanted to, to put iron directly into my body at that moment and I refused to do it 
Um, I'm still doing fine, although I'm still deficient, and I be BSing because I had this bottle a while. But it has a 556% of the daily value of iron, all right, um, per serving, which is three tablespoons. It also has a whole bunch of B vitamins. But, of course, I take it for the iron. The B vitamins, the extra energy is just a bonus. All right, what do y'all say? Embrace the phrase. <laughs> you wear your hair out, very lazy, natural. The humidity in New York City. Yeah, well, the humidity in New York City is great, actually. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm from New Jersey. Why am I? Why did that come out? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not from. I'm from New Jersey. Um, and just the, the, the natural humidity in the air out there just kept my skin so so moist and I was aging so well okay <laughs> uh, when I'm on the East Coast in the summer my my skin gets like a, a deep copper reddish glow to it my hair gets reddish and bright like everything I just look like a big copper golden queen but you come to Cali this stuff is so harsh let me show y'all I got um I don't know if y'all can see it. I got sunburn. Look at my shoulders. They're peeling. That is horrific. What the heck is going on with that? Um, hippie chick, big hair, don't care. See, y'all y'all sound like my husband. He loves afros. He's like, where that afro? I'm like, I am not. I am not the afro girl. My afro wig, I love. But my hair is not like that. My hair does not... See how when I got on the afro wig, I could move my head and this hair and it move. My hair don't move. It don't hang down in the back. So my afro, no matter how long it is, is always going to just draw up. It's going to be all the way up to here. It ain't going to be no hangage. Y'all going to be like, um, can you pull your afro down in the back? Why, <laughs> Why is it just on the top of your head? Um, oh, details though. You have anemia and most of the women in your family have thin hair. Well, my mother also had anemia, and her hair is thick to death. It's the, it, it is so coarse. It is so thick. I don't know. I guess I must have took hair after my father. Uh, iron supplements will make my hair thin, my thin hair thicker. Uh, well, I don't know if it'll make your hair thicker, but it might stop, you know, uh, it'll stop thinning. You know what I mean? So if you already have thin hair, no, it's not going to do that. But if you're losing your hair and it's starting to thin, it might be something on the inside. Uh, and it might be, that's only if you're iron uh, deficient. If you're not iron deficient, don't start taking iron supplements because it's really not worth the pain and the, the constipation, the gas. No, you don't want none of that. Nothing that the iron supplement is given, you don't want not one drop of it. 3S tonic, I remember that as a kid. It really is, right? Uh, it's, it really is a great tonic. My my husband's mom, my husband's from the island, so his mother is like, no, girl, you're about to get you some uh, 3S tonic. I was like, I got to get some 3S tonic. Like, what is it? But then I, I Googled it, and I was like, oh, my God, I, I've had that before. <laughs> uh, well, let me see. We're Afro twins. Your Afro act the, act the same way. You don't never, yeah, just disrespectful. I'm like, well, let me pick it out. I try to pick it out. Any hairstyle where you see me have any hair that comes down here, I had to take bobby pins and pin the hair down. Pin it because it does not behave in that fashion. It is not. That's not how it goes down. It <laughs> Are, am I interested in doing a meet and greet? That would be really good. I actually was uh, going to have one. I have fitness meet and greets uh, because I run this uh, fitness group on Facebook. I don't know. Are, are any of y'all in my group? It's an all women's group. It's 14,000 plus women. Um... And, you know, just a whole bunch of fitness-related stuff, all of that. But 
Um, I've been trying to, I really don't know how to fashion it or how to work it uh, for me to be able to travel around and do these meetups because it's expensive and uh, I do not make a lot of money. And definitely from YouTube, child, pennies. This little hundred dollars a month is not doing me nada. <laughs> so, um, a meet and greet if I did one it would have to be where I live which is in California and I just don't know if I have that many uh, California well I do have California followers but most of them know me you know from other meetups like in the, the area uh, from LA curly girls and things like that so I don't think that they would come to my meetup just because they know me I'm just like a regular regular ass person to them they're like girl I just call me. Why is why do I got to come to your meetup? <laughs> Let me see. Great tonic. That's our Afro Afro twins. There's a difference between thin and fine. Yes, there absolutely is. Uh, my hair is. I don't think it's well. You know what? It is thin. It's thin in the front. Uh, meaning not a lot of individual hairs, not as many as it is, you know, once you start going back here. So I'll make a twist up here and it'll be, and I'll make a twist back here and it is like, is it even on the same head? Like, wow. And the part back here is so small. If you can see like this is this little bit of hair for this twist. And this is all of this, this giant section. So they're not even like equivalent. Like this big parting made this tiny twist. Whereas if this was the back, this twist would be like that big. So, uh, so it's just thin in the front, but it's fine most of the places, except on the very top. I, those hairs are not fine at all. Uh, the group's name is Fit Naturals. There is also a page, so make sure you join the group. Not Well, you can't join a page. You can just like a page. So you can like the Fit Naturals page, but Fit Naturals, the group, it will say that there are 14,000 members, and you'll see uh, it ain't even on the cup. Nothing. Oh, well. You'll see a black woman with an afro and her arms up like this. <laughs> and that's, that, that's where you'll know uh, that you're in the right place. I wonder how far this is lagging behind. But I know I need to stretch my legs. I'm sitting here on the bed. I had to turn the light off in the back because, shall. I was like, why is it so messy behind me? They're going to be like, uh, could you clean up your house before you be making videos? <laughs> Says fit chick. And they got the lady with the afro. But this is, this is my fit chick logo. This isn't my, uh, this isn't the fit naturals logo. I don't actually have, I have t-shirts and I have the, I have one visor left from when I got uh, robbed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to do that in a giveaway. Because, you know, I just made uh, 30,000. I just made it to 30,000 subscribers. And I really wanted to do something so exciting for you guys, but I'm too broke. I, you know, I was like, well, I don't have the money to do anything. And my YouTube situation has not really gotten any better I'm still making a hundred and something dollars a month so I'm like yeah uh, that money I actually need so I wasn't sure what to do but I was thinking about giving away that visor and some of the products that people send me uh, but I I don't know if y'all even care about products I'm like I want that BS give me some <laughs> give me a gift card or something you know what I mean so I didn't know what to do but I think when I hit 50,000, that's far enough off where I should have something in the works for that time. Maybe a meet and greet, huh? And probably somewhere where it's a lot of people like uh, like the DMV area. I know in my, in my fitness group, it seemed like everybody in the world lived there. I'm like, well, damn, what? 
what's really going on in that area? Um, how often are you going to do a live chat? I'm not sure. I think I'm going to uh, set up a. Uh, I'm going to, I guess, I don't know how it exactly works, but I know that you can schedule a live chat. So I'll probably do a video where I could tell you guys that I'm going to be doing it ahead of time so that, you know, it could be on and popping. It could be a lot of people, uh, and, you know, it could be exciting uh, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, also people will have, you know, all their questions and things like that together, if there's even going to be any questions. But um, I'm not sure how often. Like I said, this was my first time ever doing it. I was so excited. Uh, and I'll, I'll have to see. Because I don't want to try to say a schedule just because my life is a little too unpredictable. Um, are your legs stretched? Yes. They are hanging off the edge of the bed because my body's so little. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little kid. That's all it took to stretch out my legs. Um, gotta leave, but I'll catch you next time, love. Okay, Miss Phil. Congrats. I like free stuff. Shoot. <laughs> and you like trying new products? I have, I have so much stuff that I've never used because I just... I don't have the time. And also, on my channel, whenever I do a review... It, it get less uh, views than my regular videos that don't hardly get no views. So for a hair video, for a video considered popular, I can't even get like a thousand views. So a review, it'll be like 28 views. <laughs> I like y'all are not about that review life for sure. When you read a question, there are five waiting after that. Does knowing that help with knowing about the lag time? Oh. Hmm. No, why isn't why can't I see them? Let me see. Maybe if I do this, the pop up chat. No, nope. it still uh doesn't really tell me anything because I'm, I'm talking so much. There's no real set time on when I'm actually reading a question, and I'm going backwards when I miss things and all kind of stuff like that. So, yeah, the lag time is off the chain. It seems like I'm probably, like, 20 seconds. Uh, well, you guys are seeing everything, like, 20 seconds after. Uh, that's how it seemed to me, anyway. Oh, and that was to Marika Reagan. Restore chat. More comments. Okay, so I'm not even saying nothing right now, and y'all probably don't even know, because y'all reading whatever. Um, Alright, so what I'm thinking is, now that I figured out how to do this, I'll figure out a way to incorporate it into my uh, video making type stuff, and, and we could have uh, some fun with this, huh? Okay. If anybody uh, has any ideas, I guess, about uh, maybe having a, a meet and greet, uh, that would be uh, optimal. Uh, also, if anybody, okay, anybody into the business world or know anything about monetizing things, you know, because say my Facebook fan page has like 200,000 people and people are like, well, do you sell anything? Do you? No, I don't sell nothing. I don't got, <laughs> I'm not making any money from that. My, uh, my group has 14,000 people. They're like, wow, you must be making a lot of money. Nope, not a penny. I don't make any money doing any of the stuff that I do. Everything I do is apparently just out of the kindness of my heart, I guess. Uh, but it'd be nice for me to figure something out uh, like I said with the travel thing so that could be something we could talk about um, a meet and greet like I said uh, might be best in the middle of the country <laughs> um, Chicago mm. um, let me see keep talking you bored <laughs> oh I said your name right yay I'm eating M&M's and you know what? I didn't even ask my husband could I have them. I sure hope he ain't buying for nobody else. They was all wrapped up. They got plastic on them. Celebrating 75 years. Whatever. 
<laughs> I ain't no good. And I don't feel like cooking, so I'm just eating candy and drinking ginger tea. Um, Chicago, let me see. Tutorials and tickets to live demos. But doing what? Uh, tutor like hair? I don't know if anybody would, would pay to see that. Especially since there's so many free tutorials online. It's like, um, I don't know, do y'all, do any of y'all follow Makeup and Beauty Junkie? I haven't, she hasn't made any videos in a while. She kind of is just over it. But she's my friend here. And back when there used to be, we used to do meetups and stuff, like, all the time. Like I said, with, like, L.A. Curly Girls and International Natural Hair Meetup Day and all that sort of stuff. She was like, um, they'll put her name or whatever, our names on the little roster, like, oh, we're going to be there and try to charge money. And she, she was like, um, why would anybody pay for that? <laughs> and the girl was like, you don't think people will pay to see you? She was like, I wouldn't pay to see me. <laughs> what am I, some, some professional? Like, I'm just some girl making videos on YouTube. <laughs> so I don't know. If, if anybody would be interested, like, I'm not, like, popping in Cali like that where people are like, oh, my God, I wonder what Aisa's doing. Let me check out her channel or whatever. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe when I can get back. See, here's the issue with my channel. It used to be really good. I built it up, and I used to get a nice amount of views on everything. And I was making a pretty chunk of change. And now at 30,000 subscribers, I make less than I did probably when I had 5,000 subscribers. So um, I think Google has penalized me in some sort of way. But I think that if I continue making videos consistently, it'll bring my ranking back up. And things will flow more, you know, better. And... That should help with my uh, popularity, both where I am and in other places. And then it might be more feasible for people to want to purchase uh, services from me or um, or anything, uh, buy anything that I'm selling. Basically, I don't. I just. I don't feel confident right now with that. If you know what I mean. Leave it, and I'll eat it. <laughs> I almost finished this whole box. It's literally two, four, it's seven, seven in this whole giant box. Are you a DIY kind of girl? Um, yes, I am. I do, do you mean as far as hair or just in life? Just period. Oh, Marika. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's great to know that there are people that, you know, believe in you and things like that but I think that all people have you know doubts about things and don't always feel so so popping <laughs> what are the youngsters say now lit uh, I don't feel so lit uh, <laughs> um, oh just in general DIY just like yes I, I look at things, I wanted to paint my car myself because I be seeing people do it on YouTube and it their cars be looking so nice. In Cali, the sun is so harsh that it kind of burns the paint off of people's cars. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sand this down. I'm gonna make my car a uh, sparkly purple. <laughs> Cause that's what I wanted. I was like, ooh, this is a pretty color. And I really, but my husband, he is not DIY-ish at all. And he is very non-supportive. Not only is he non-supportive, because non-supportive would just be like, nah, I don't want to do it. He is uh, actively a person that if he doesn't like it or agree with it, he will put it down and make it seem dumb. He will hound you about how dumb it is. So it, it, it gets so weird. So I don't, <laughs> the, with the thing with the car, he was not here for it. But I used to have a green screen that I used to do on my videos. And 
I painted that giant. I bought a what is it called? Uh, that they make when they're making houses and they put the walls up. Whatever it is, I I went to Home Depot and I bought a giant wall. And then I sat it out and I painted it green and then put it up against the wall. Now he acted like I couldn't do that, but I don't see what's so hard about painting something. Chicago is the new. Oh, okay. Wish you could stay. I wish you could stay too, but I'll catch you next time as well. Chicago, the new LA. The acting scene is up and coming. Is it? It's cold though. I think this California. This sunshine and got me uh, a little bit spoiled. Cool ass chick, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this this heat. Now when I go home uh, to New Jersey, I get I get sick like really fast. My tolerance is very punkish right now. Oxidation in Virginia does the same. Oxidation, oxidation. About oh you probably talking about my hair huh? She truck. Oh she rock. Is it called she rock? First of all, why did I not know how to say that word? I'm like she truck. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Um, he's a shop boy like my husband. He would rather pay for it, and I want to fix it. Yes, yes. I am such a do it yourselfer. Drywall. That's the word. I bought a giant piece of drywall. <laughs> Empire is filmed in, filmed in Chicago? Oh, wait a minute. Like, Oprah is out there, right? And she's got her own thing going on. Yeah. Oh, oxidation for the, the paint on the cars. Wow, yeah. That is no joke. I'm like, uh... Why are all the cars so ratty? Because I'm trying to get a, a used car, a better used car than the one I have. Because my car is crap. And it's in the shop. It's been there for like four months. Three, four months, whatever. Uh, cannot afford to get it out right now. <laughs> so, oh, so I go by and look at it. Say hi. <laughs> Me and you, my <laughs> We parting all the time. Um, yes, yeah, so I want to get a, a used car, but shoot, when you look at them, they're all burned up. I'm like, what is... What's, I want to pay money. I need a car that I can Uber with. I need a car that's going to make me some money. Let me see. Used to be her studio was busted, demolished. Was it? Where's her studio now? I do not watch Power, uh, naturally being me, because I think it comes on a channel that I do not have. <laughs> um, I think it's like HBO or something, right? So I don't do, I don't have any premium channels, and it's ridiculous because my bill is still like a hundred and thirty something dollars a month. It's ridiculous. Okay. Bye, D. Tisdale. Thank you so much for stopping by. Get a Toyota. I love mine. I like them, too. Uh, I like all cars, basically. As long as it's not a pickup truck, I am not about the pickup truck life. If I met a guy, and I've met several in California, first of all, I don't know what the appeal of the pickup truck is in the first place in California, but I get out here, and people would really drive them like they are cool cars. I'm like, oh. That is a farmer car. I am not going out with no farmer. So, no. Get a regular car. I'm not going. I'm not getting dressed up in no cute shoes to get no pickup truck. <laughs> that rant came out of nowhere. It had nothing to do with nothing. I just need y'all to know, I do not care for pickup trucks. <laughs> 200 with no premium? Shout the only reason I, it costs that much now I'm okay with it is because AT&T, they are ridiculous. I found, okay, I was making videos over on my uh, my rant channel, and the videos over there are long. I mean, 
40 minutes long, 30 minutes. They're huge files, and they take forever for me to watch the show, to do the review, to record it, to edit it, to uh, whatever the other word is to it, and then to upload it. And I'm telling you, if I'm doing a review on a TV show, and it's supposed to be, you know, people want to see it maybe that night, maybe the next day. That thing would be like uh, 27 hours. <laughs> 27 more hours. I'm like, damn, 19 more hours. Or it, no, it'll do minutes. It'll be like uh, 20,537 minutes left. So I actually, so I told somebody over on that channel, I was like, these videos take so long to upload and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, girl, that's your uh, internet service that's slow. It's not the the video. It don't take that long. I was like, is it? Am I being duped? Child, I felt like a fool. I go and I check AT&T and I ask them, what is my upload and download speed? Upload speed, no, download speed is six. Six. I like, okay, well, the uploads is what I really need to do because my videos are taking, you know, well over a day just to upload. Upload speed is one. One megabyte per second. Uno. Are you effing kidding me? So, um, right now, the package that I have, uh, and it was like 40 something dollars. Um... And the phone was $40. That's like $80 for one megabyte. And that is the largest package they have. That's the largest. I can't believe I was that stupid for that long. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so this now has, it gives me 100 megabytes of download and I think 10 or 20 uh, for, uh, for uploads. So could you imagine the first time that I went to upload a video with my new service and it was like 15 minutes. 15? Oh, it's like the weight of the world just came off my back. The only problem now is that I never watch the shows I'm supposed to watch. All of my reviews are late, like a week. <laughs> like a week late. Um... Because, child, I'll be tired. I don't be having time to be watching all those shows. I'm going to have to change up that channel and maybe just do news stories. You know, kind of like the Hodge twins do. So, uh, because reviewing TV shows is very, very time consuming. Uh, even though it's fun, it's cool. It doesn't get a lot of views. Well, not as many as I'd like, except for Catfish. If you review anything that uh, Caucasians watch, it'll get a lot more views. But, um, yeah, Verizon, good seat, but they suck limit. Oh, Verizon, I wanted them bad because they got the 50-50. They do, you know, if it's 100 uh, upload, they do 100 download, too. That is awesome. Did your edges grow back from the castor oil? Um, I don't know if you saw the update, but the update was saying basically that uh, my husband trying to call what you want I didn't answer <laughs> um I found myself to uh, be going through some sort of male pattern balding uh, you could see it in the video uh, the the results video for the grow back your edges challenge um, it isn't it isn't horrible well this is the good side this is the side that I know you are looking at it like it don't look good to me but it's definitely better than this side uh, this side, it just, I feel this thing right in here. It feels very smooth to me. So, eh, I don't know if it's going to be completely possible for me with a, I hate saying male pattern balding. I'm just going to call it female pattern balding. <laughs> but my brother's hair goes like that, and my mom's too. So, well, I don't want to just because, I don't want to try Rogaine. Because you have to take it for the rest of your life. And I'm really, I'm weird about a whole bunch of chemicals and stuff. Like, I don't know what's in Rogaine. I don't know if it's going to give me cancer later on down the line. And I don't want to die young for trying to have no hair. 
<laughs> oh, for three months they tried you. Traction boldness. Topical. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rogaine is topical. But anything you put on your skin goes like into your your system. So I'd be a little bit scared about that. I've looked and I I mean I definitely thought about Rogaine like almost immediately. Um, but after reading up on it and knowing that as soon as you stop, it'll do you dirty and the hairs fall out and you got to do it for the rest of your life. I can't even, I can't even take my iron and I'm iron deficient. Doctor telling me, girl, you going to pass out one day, you going to die. And I'm still not taking them. So I know me trying to do Rogaine, I can't remember to oil my scalp. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing that comes on the schedule. I'm <laughs> like, I forgot. For how long? Seven months. Yeah. I'm so bad with it. Get some Nikisha stimulating growth and scalps. You know what? Somebody, like a YouTuber or something, makes that Nikisha uh, growth some uh, serum, right? Because I did see that somewhere. Um, Jamaican black castor oil has risen in it. Okay, today was a hair spa day for me. How are you going to style yours? This was the, this was my style. This is how I did my hair today. <laughs> oh, so there's risen and black Jamaican black castor oil and it's poison. Oh, well, what's risen? You passed out, girl. I okay. You probably wasn't following Miss Bushbag uh, back then. But girl, I passed out on the street with my husband. Thank God he was there. I never passed out in my life. Matter of fact, when people faint and pass out, I always think they faking. I don't never I don't think I'm like, why would somebody just faint? What is fainting? Just you just be awake and then you just go to sleep. <sighs> never believed it until I fell right on out on the ground. I was exercising, we was outside. I was like, I need some water. He was like, well, we'll get water on the way back. Yeah, so I didn't eat nothing. Uh, it was scorching hot. He wouldn't let me have no water. We're exercising, walking up all of these hills, and I didn't eat nothing, and I'm anemic. So I don't know what exactly made me pass out, but I know uh, I walked over to him, walking up the hill, breathing hard, and I put my arm on him, and I was like, I feel funny. I don't remember nothing else. Set me waking up on the ground. And I'm like, why am I on the ground? First of all, I thought I was in the bed when I woke up. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. What is... He was so scared. That's what he get. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, uh, okay. She said, oh, you were hospitalized for it? Yeah. I mean, I try to do what I can. I eat a lot of meat. Um, Risen is what the terrorists use to poison people if you inhale it. Get the H out of town. Okay, see, I see I'm trying to not cuss too much. If this was my other channel, it'll be a, all cuss words. You only hear a non-cuss word every few words. <laughs> but Wow. It's not like I'm I'm using it a lot or I have that bottle of Jamaican black castor oil for years. Literally. Uh because like I said, I'm too irresponsible to keep up with putting nothing on me anyway. But I have uh much more of the regular castor oil. Whatever. Sink Cope sneaks up on you. Iron deficiency is crazy as be careful. Yes. I, I definitely attempt to, to be careful. I try to never go. If I start feeling tired, sleeping a lot, that's why I, I got this. I was telling my husband that uh, I just I take so many naps throughout the day. I'm, I can't I can't uh, win for sleeping. I'm, I am always, I told y'all, just me trying to work this thing, and it wouldn't work earlier, I went right to sleep next to this computer <laughs> and, and woke, <laughs> woke up. So I go to sleep all the time like somebody old grandmother 
Look it up, Miss Lady. That's why I stopped using Jamaican black castor oil. You ain't got to tell me twice. It's dead to me. Dead. Okay. <clears throat> you think they put it in rat poison too? Ooh. Well, that is not nothing that I wanted to hear. Now I'm frightened. I feel like I need to do an internal cleansing, which I probably do. Um, everything went black, and I woke up at the bottom. Oh my God! You did you fall down the stairs? Um, Kenya. I used to pass out when I was pregnant with my youngest son. Wake up on the floor like, what the? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I could see something like that definitely happening if I were to get pregnant. But I don't know if y'all know this about my husband. He's a stalker. The very fact that he is not here right now is amazing. And when he's not here, he just calls me over and over and over again. He is a stalker. So if I was pregnant, he would probably just open my skin and move in and just live inside of me. That's how clingy he will be. So thirsty for a baby. I'm like, boy, it's really ridiculous. Oh, okay. Risen is rat poison with corn? Ooh. No, they're saying that all Jamaican black castor oil has the risen in it. Oh, Chantel. My uncle told me about Risen before they tried to give it give him some meds and he refused because he researched it. That's what I'm talking about for your uncle. Yes, research. Don't let them give you nothing. Just like that lady tried to uh the doctor in twenty fourteen tried to tell me to get a uh hysterectomy. Uh no thanks. I will be keeping my uh uterus, honey. I'll be keeping my <laughs> my female reproductive system. When is my anniversary? It just passed. It was on the 16th. Yeah. Ugh, marriage is a funny thing, but yeah. It's three years now. I should have just married him sooner. If I knew I was ever going to back down and just do it, I should have just did it sooner. You know what I mean? So I just held off for no reason. I could have been 10 years married already or something like that. Oh, Risen comes from the castor seed. So, yes, it's in all castor oil. Oh, five years. Now, five is a good year. Oh, five is a good number. No okay, five is my favorite number. Before I just start going on a tangent about five. It's my favorite number. It's awesome. So, I'll be very excited for you. <laughs> Thin out your hair and your edges. Wait a minute. You got a 17-year-old boyfriend or you had a boyfriend for 17 years? Because if you got a 17-year-old boyfriend, I'm like, go, girl. What? <laughs> oh, Kuga. But I think you mean 17 years, though. I used to go to the Lord and ask for his wisdom on things like that. Oh, like uh, when to get married and stuff? Your makeup looks good. Are you still doing makeup how you're supposed to? I am. I did put on this makeup for this video earlier uh, today. But, okay. I made a video over on uh, Miss Bushbag about Lil Bow Wow, right? And the, the, his little remarks or whatever. And it's just two men try to come for me on my makeup. And I had to get, well, I didn't get indignant with the first one because he didn't push it. He was like, why your face lighter than your body? Because your mama, that's why. Don't ask me, don't come for me about my... <laughs> But, okay, when they tell me that I'm supposed to do the highlight, like, up here, it just looks ashy. It make my forehead look white. Um, and the, the, the brightening of this. But here's the thing. I'm sunburned, like I already showed y'all. So, my skin, look at my back. If y'all can see that. So, 
it's peeling, it's black, it's burnt. So my body is darker than my face. My face also got burned, but it already peeled off. So my face being dark, and my scalp being dark and my makeup being the color that I am when I'm not sunburned. Yeah, so they trying to accuse me of trying to get makeup to look lighter or whatever. So, yeah, that pissed me off. Mm -hmm. But, yes, I have been trying with my makeup. I actually went to the store the other day and bought other stuff to try to experiment with because I don't know. A boyfriend for 17 years. Shit, I need a 17-year-old. <laughs> Knocking boots. Oh, on a hysterectomy? No, I just, I didn't get it. I'm, I'm not letting anyone do that. It wasn't medically necessary. She was like, well, you could get cancer. and Yeah, I get cancer. Really? I could get cancer anywhere, so I'm just, should I just chop off all the parts of my body because I might get cancer? Girl, knock it off. Not you, the doctor. Yes, Kenya is too crazy. <laughs> Leave that boy alone. <laughs> Oh, no, she ain't with no teeny bopper. Her boyfriend she been with for 17 years. Let me see. On my comments. Coming to an end. I might just go and get the infusion. Yeah, he really do need to put a ring on it. I've I feel like uh, doing a dance and singing it, but that might be ridiculous. <laughs> Plus, I can't sing. But you know how the song go. Well, I don't know. Do you not want to get married? Because I, the reason that I didn't get married is for so long is because I didn't want to get married. He asked me too soon, I thought. I'm like, um, no. Marry you for what? Boy, not at all. And get out of my house. Why? How do we wind up living together? Uh, child. <laughs> I still can't even believe I'm married. It's so not me. It's so a weird thing. It makes me feel like such an old lady when I say my husband. But I got used to it. My husband still calls me his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm waiting on Lupe Fiasco. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, did I miss something? What is Lupe? Happy belated anniversary. Thank you, Simply Mills. Lupe the rapper? Girl, I don't even know if I'm going to make it 20 years. You better than me. I've known him for 10 years, and I'm just like... Are you serious? Is this my life? Is this my real life right now? I can't even imagine being around somebody that annoying for, this, for that many years. Unless at some point he stops talking to me. That would make being married a lot better. If if my husband would, you know, stop talking to me. Yeah, just uh, basically that. That would be... <laughs> Whenever you get on my nerves, I'm like, stop talking to me. No, but for real, stop talking to me. Don't you have any friends that you could be having conversations with? <laughs> <laughs> I'm chit chatty, you know, with you, with y'all, and in the video, I'm chit chatty with girls. But boys, come on, we. I, why are we talking about this? How did I get in this conversation about something that I don't care about? Like, please stop talking to me. 
Let me see what's going on with my TV. Um, this cable box is a dick. I got the volume off. I don't even know why I would care that it's on. Uh, fine ass nerd. He's a rapper. Okay, but what y'all waiting? What's supposed to have happened with him? Been married for 10 years, and I tell you, the years fly by. I can't believe it's been that long. It does fly by. Well, it ain't flying by for me. It is, get the, get the, the fruit fly, gnat things. Um, it seemed like it is taking its own sweet time. <laughs> I know, ain't nothing on. Uh, I'm watching, I had it on this channel all day. I think it's NCIS. Uh, very old episodes. I don't care. If I turn on TV and really try to watch it, if it ain't nothing goofy and, and funny, I will be sleep as usual. Oh no, not good. <laughs> Some women wish that man could talk to them. But talk about what? My husband is very sensitive, <clears throat> he is very affectionate. And he is very chatty. Love him. But I really could do with a lot less affection and talking. I'm not that kind of person. I, <laughs> I do. Okay. I've been in relationships with guys that didn't talk, you know, lying, sneaking around, don't never want to spend no time with me. That is absolutely not what I want. I don't want to go from one, uh, one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. But I think a nice, in the middle, medium, medium talking, medium affectioned person <laughs> would, <laughs> would suit me nicely. But yes, I do know that there are women who are always talked about, he never want to talk to me. I was like, girl, first of all, my husband talks so much, he talks to other people too. So I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, let me put y'all on the speakerphone real fast. And let me let him hear the conversation so that he can join in and I can just hand the phone to him. And y'all can have a nice time chitting and chatting. I don't know who Lupe, Loop, Loop, I just think he is smart. As, okay, well, y'all gonna make me go and look up who this person is right now. So I'm gonna miss some uh, comments, I guess, for a, little, for a couple of seconds. Lupe. Oh, Lupe Fiasco, okay. I see, I see. Hmm. Totally thought he was going to look differently. Okay, so what do y'all mean y'all can't wait for him? What is he doing? Where is he going? What is he going to be on? Why is he going to be on there? I'm lost. You really don't want to get married anymore? Yeah, I can dig it. Hmm. Why you ain't telling me I got stuff in my teeth? <laughs> I'm probably on here looking horrific. I don't know why I looked at my phone like that was going to uh, show me my teeth. Let me look in the mirror real quick. Okay, I got that dry M&M's up off my teeth. Um, <laughs> she said, listen to him. You want him to hush, but you listen. Girl. And my husband is uh, playful. He likes to just come and... Uh, I can't even explain the things that he do. He played too much. That's for sure. Okay, let me see. It won't let me go up on these comments. So, let me try to put them over here. Pop out chat. <clears throat> Y'all think I'm scaring Kenya? Nah. It's been 17 years. She already been scared. It does fly by. Let me see anything. 
I'll take the affection too. I really don't want to give it. Did you go to the Essence Festival? No, I did not. I have never been, ever, still to this day. Um, sounds like you scared. Okay, Lupe Fiasco is a rapper. She means get married to Lupe. Oh, okay. See that went way over my head. You meant that she she meant that she was waiting on him to get married. Okay, duh. <laughs> It would be nice if we had something in common, but they are on some other stuff. Yes. It's like talking to a Peanuts teacher. <laughs> that is for sure. I then play in the house morning cage. No, okay. Yes. Yes. My, my, well, y'all both play? We play too because I don't have a, a choice. You know, if he come in playing, he come in, he likes to do... It's so dumb. He likes to uh, start pretend arguments, and then when I look at him crazy, he likes to take a shirt and throw it over my head and then try to grab me and wrestle me. <laughs> so if you see any clothing in his hand when he's talking nonsense to you, grab it because he's going to throw it over your head <laughs> like a little kid. So, yeah, we play too much, too. You got seven babies? Give me one. Give me one. You know I ain't got no kids. Yeah, y'all are, uh, ain't it common law married or no? Yeah, common law. That's what I was saying. Um, but they don't have common law in every state. You know? They don't have it in California. Please, we play. Okay. I guess. Hey, what is it? Mooney? Mooney Eve? It's alright, better late than never. Pillow fights, running. Bend over and smack. <laughs> yes. And you know what? I saw something the other day and it made me laugh so hard because I do it. They were like, uh, any man that's been in a long-term relationship or married to somebody uh, goes through this. And it's a girl walk up behind him and, like, start pumping him on the butt. I was like, my husband hates that. But I do it all the time, and I have no idea why. I think it's that whole thing. You remember, like, psychology class, that penis envy? I don't know why I'm always humping my husband's butt uh, whenever he's bent over. <laughs> But I'm happy to know that I'm not the only one that do that. Oh, okay. So common law is also not recognized in Chicago. I get that. I was going to say, shoot, I would have been, been married, I guess, if common law was a thing in California. But shoot, you know all these um, rich people and these celebrities is out here, they don't have no time for nobody to be common law getting half of their money so yeah it's not going down <laughs> yes i have some play in me too i'm not all well all work and no play i ain't no work uh but he plays too much literally my husband's kids tell him he played too much his son was over here the little one is 13 now he is so big but he is like, oh, Dad, this is so unnecessary. <laughs> My husband keep on hitting him or plucking him, messing with his ears, pulling his hair. He's like, can you just leave me alone, though, Daddy, please? <laughs> so he play. you know you play too much when little kids think you play too much. He been telling him he played too much. When he was five, he was like, he played too much. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, hippie chick, you be doing that too, right? Uh, the girl that runs another group on Facebook, uh, Fit Girls with Curls, I'm friends with her. And she was like, girl, I do that to my husband all the time. I'm like, but do you know why? She's like, no. I have no idea why I do that. But I find it to be uh, fun, apparently, because I've been doing it for years. What is this thing jumping up and down? All 
right. You know what? We have been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. And I had a good old time with y'all. But I think I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to end this now. Uh, because we're going to be on here talking for the rest of the night. <laughs> um, you do it so he can see how it feels. Uh, I think you're going to need <clears throat> a bit of a phallic symbol as he <laughs> <laughs> just trash him. Um, yeah. But, um, huh. I will make a video announcing the next time that I do a, a live video so we can know ahead of time so we can all be around. But do y'all think that, first of all, what is today? Today is Monday. Is the weekend a better time? Do y'all think yes or no? Yeah, it was fun. Yay, I'm glad you guys had fun too. Had a blast. I'm so glad you came on. I'm glad I came on. So I'm, I'm, this was so, this was really fun. <laughs> to have something to do. Who would have thunk it, right? Because I thought it was probably just going to be like one or two people. I would have still been happy with that. But I'm so happy that y'all have come and spent this time with me. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm going to let y'all know ahead of time. And I'll probably try to do it around the same time when it seems like people are off work but then not in bed yet. Uh, and see how that works out for us. So, until the next time, I love y'all. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. If I ever turn this off, okay, now how do I do that? Okay, well, I guess we got a couple of more seconds while I try to figure out my life right now. Ha, ha, ha.